talk about the gift of the Holy Spirit. The gift of the Holy Spirit. You find the word Holy Ghost in the King James Version of Scripture. And Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit are synonymous, meaning the same thing, just different words based on the interpretation from the Greek source. The gift of the Holy Spirit. There's been much misunderstanding regarding the Holy Spirit. Uh, there has been much debate uh, regarding whether the Holy Spirit uh, is a spirit that somehow helps us in our weakness or whether it is purely something that makes us shout and just get happy. I want to make that very clear that the spirit doesn't work in one way. The spirit works in different ways. In some cases, the spirit might cause someone to speak in tongues. In another case, it might cause a person to shout. In another situation, it might cause a person to sit with tears in their eyes. In another situation, it may cause one to just clap their hand or pat their feet or to nod their head. Some people will even laugh with joy as the Holy Spirit moves through their bodies. The Holy Spirit manifests itself in different kinds of ways, and we're going to talk about more specific ways a little later on in the message, but I think that we need to be aware that you can't take the Holy Spirit and put it in any kind of container and control how the Holy Spirit works. You can't put God in a box can't put him in a box to save your life. God is God all by himself. And he does what he wants to do when he gets ready within the confines of who he is. So our God is a God of salvation, but our God is the Holy Spirit. Now in the text this morning, we see where the Holy Spirit was given as a gift to those who repented and those who were baptized in the name of Jesus the Christ. Now the Holy Spirit is a gift from God to the church and to every believer. To the church and every believer. To the church and every believer. Anybody can't have this. Anybody can't get this unless you have made that confession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and have become a part of a church. Unless you are a believer in Jesus Christ believing that he died on the cross, that he was buried, and that on the third day morning he got up from the grave with all power in his hands. You got to believe in Jesus in order to be a recipient of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So anyone who is regenerated in Christ, that is, they give, they've given their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ, and they have accepted Christ as their personal Savior, the scriptures teach that the Holy Spirit enters into that person immediately. Now, some people might say, well, I accepted Jesus Christ, and I didn't feel anything that was all that different. I said earlier that the Holy Spirit works differently. It doesn't work the same way in everybody, but it ought to work in you some kind of way. <laughs> Amen? It ought to work in you some kind of way. It ought not do nothing for you at all. You need, all of us need to realize that the Holy Spirit lives in every believer. God fixed it so even back in the book of Acts during the day of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit came down upon the church. This is when God empowered the church to do his work. Amen. We don't have to go looking for, looking for power. We don't have to go looking for the Holy Spirit. We don't have, we don't have to pray the Holy Spirit down. Holy Spirit already here. Amen. Amen. And you know what? The Holy Spirit already living inside of you and already living inside of me. Amen. Amen. We, don't, we don't have to get it all to get the Holy Spirit working and moving. God doesn't need any all to do what he needs to do. Now, if you need it, that's another thing. But God doesn't need it to do what he needs to do. You understand what I'm saying? See, God works on his own, in his own way, in his own power. God is God, as someone said, all by himself. Amen. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is a gift from God. It is a gift from God. You can't buy it. You can't, you can't make it. 
Amen. You can't order it through the, through the catalog. It, it's a gift from God. Amen. It's a gift from God. You can't pay for it. It's a gift from God to everyone who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ. So when the regeneration takes place, that is the new birth, the new life in Jesus Christ as a result of accepting Jesus Christ as Lord in your life, then a thing called sanctification comes into play. And sanctification is when the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us begins to do a work in us to create in us the kind of person that God would have us to be. Now you and I can't create whatever we think we want to create ourselves to be for God. We can't do it. Flesh can't take flesh and make something better out of flesh. We can't do it to save our lives. We need a divine entity to work inside of us, to move us, to shape us, to mold us into the will of Almighty God. Amen. Now, 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 now you can say, well, I'm going to do number one, number two, and number three, and that's going to make me holy. No, it will not. There isn't anything we can do to make ourselves holy. We can't do it. Carry the Bible around on your arm all you want to. That doesn't make you holy. And everybody you meet, you can say, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord. All you want to, that doesn't make you holy. Sometimes we think because people use, this, use religious jargon all the time that that person is a holy person, not necessarily so. I have worked in the Department of Correction. A whole lot of folk down there using all kinds of religious jargon. And they'll steal sugar out of your cake if you leave it long enough. <laughs> Amen. We got, we, got, we got to be careful how we live in this Christian life. And we can't decide what God will do and how God will work. God has already spoken in his holy word. Amen, somebody. Holy Spirit is a gift from God to the church and to every believer. The Holy Spirit has always existed. The Holy Spirit has always existed. Now God revealed the Holy Spirit to us. Amen. At the day of Pentecost. Am I right about it? In fact, he introduced the Holy Spirit to the, to the, to the disciples before he died. Amen. He did that. But the Holy Spirit dispensation of the Holy Spirit was not a reality to humankind until God said so. When God created the heavens and the earth, the Holy Spirit was there. Yes, yes. What did it say? It didn't say, let me, it said, let us. Yes. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, let us make man in his own image, in his own likeness. That's what God said. Holy Spirit has always been there. And the Holy Spirit has equal power to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit itself. In other words, the Holy Spirit stands strong in God. And God is God with Father, Son, and with Holy Spirit. You can't, he can't, he's not God without either one of them. He's God with all three at all times. He's Father at the same time. He's Holy Spirit. He's Holy Spirit at the same time. He's a Son. He's a, he's a father, same time he is son. He is Holy Spirit, the same time he is father. Amen, somebody. So when we think about the Holy Spirit, we think about, we think about something that's somewhat simple, but yet it's complex. It has somewhat of a mystery, but yet at the same time, it's sort of simple in how God expresses the Holy Spirit. And whatever you do, you make sure that you have the Holy Spirit living in you. Amen. Living in you. The Holy Spirit is above us, with us, in us. Amen. Just as the Father is above us, in us, with us, as the Son above us, in us, with us. Holy Spirit lives inside of us. That's why we need to take care of these bodies of ours. Amen. Eat some fried chicken, but don't eat too much. Don't get your cholesterol up. Don't get, don't, don't get your arteries clogged. And chicken is good, but too much of any good thing is not good for you. Amen, somebody. Take care of your body because within your body resides the Holy Spirit. And your body becomes the temple of God because the Holy Spirit resides inside of you. Amen. So you don't want, you don't want the Holy Spirit into something that is ragged. 
something that is, uh, that is weak and frail. You want the Holy Spirit in something that is healthy and strong so that you can be used by God to do the work and to do the will of the living God. Who is the Holy Spirit? Who is the Holy, Holy Spirit? Is the third person of the Trinity through whom God acts. The third person of the Trinity through whom God acts. God does his work in and through the Holy Spirit. Amen, somebody. Now, when Jesus died on the cross, that was the work God did for us. Amen. That's what God did for us. In Jesus' Christ. That's the work God did for us. Amen, Amen, somebody. somebody. Amen. And, 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 and when the Holy Spirit came, came in, that's the word God, 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 God does in us. us. So, so that, that he can work in us and through us, us to get to his purpose, purpose and his, and his and will done in the world. Amen. Now, I, I found myself seven times in my, 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 my theological journey. Why did God put so, so much responsibility and confidence in us? Why would he do that? Amen. Amen. He said we all see to come from the glory of God. God. Yeah. So, so why, why would he do that? Why would he do so much in us? us? In fact, if you think about it, God, 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 God has left us with his ministry and worked on the end of the world to people he was like you and me. Just like you and me. He has left what for us to do. When, when anyone, 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 in here, here or in here, church, church anywhere, anywhere is not doing what God, what God has purposed for his life, life. We, we are cheating of God. We, we are short on the life of his work and, and ministry in the, in the world. world. I don't know why, why he did what you need to meet the gospel. I don't know why he did what you want to be a big deacon to a Jew that you want to become a member of his family. I don't know why God got it. I know that without his word, God. Participate. 